Hey guys, Fitzkit76 here, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to make this Lights Out game that I made. Um, so if you haven't seen the video already, be sure to check it out, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. So first what you want to do is make a uh, little L shape. So just make this little L, it's a backwards L but it's fine. Put a note block and some redstone lamps just like that. This is your input. So to take the input, we need to do an observer here, and we gotta branch this observer out to these two directions because those are your uh, carries to the neighboring cells. Um, so to take the carry from this one, you put a dropper right here, and you want to run an observer out of that in this direction here, and that'll go to this piston, and this is our uh, toggle for the entire thing. So as you can see, if that um, gets a, a pulse, this will um, go into this position, and you can see it lights up. So next what you want to do is take um, this signal here and run that into this side using a, a block and a note block to update that piston. Uh, to get the actual cell to work with the input, you just put a block right there. That'll hit the um, dropper. Then what you want to do, to get the carry going this way, you need to put a uh, observer like that and out that way, and then just run it in on this side to hit that dropper there. Then what you want to do is take a um, observer coming in right there, and then run it this way, just like that. This we want to run right into that, that uh, the dropper. And then you want to take the output of this observer up here and run it straight that way, like that. And that'll uh, conclude for all the main logic of the cell. So then if you want to get the reset going, uh, you got to get these blocks. So it's not that bad. Um, so you want to put your reset button here. That's where I put mine. Uh, and you want to put couple blocks down like this, some redstone dust on them. This alone will just reset this cell, but you can't put this between every single cell. So you only put it on the edge, <clears throat> and then to carry it down to all the other ones, you put a note block here, an observer here, uh, a sticky piston right here, and a redstone block. And then for all the next cells, all you gotta do is just do a sticky piston and a redstone block, and you just chain it. Now it'll get to a certain point where the length is too much and it'll actually drop a block. So if it gets that point, you can uh, change this to a wooden button. And if it gets too big, you could always add a, uh, a comparator um, signal strength thing, what are they called, uh, the pulse extender, onto the reset line. So yeah, but um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe for more videos like this. I'll be sure to post a few more tutorials if you guys ask. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>